Hi, this is George Cow. So the other day I was walking here in the park and I'll just kind of show you around the park here. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. Now I uh, wasn't wearing a jacket because it was a warm day like today and um, I was just carrying my keys in one hand and uh, I was walking my dog, playing with my dog and then at some point I noticed that the keys were gone. I had lost the keys. And the reason I'm showing you this scene is because, um, well, I was walking all over the reservoir. I mean, literally, I was, I was walking up and down these, this, these steps. I was walking down there. Um, I was walking, of course, all around. You can't, you can't see, but this, the park goes all around. I was walking all around, and I was just so nervous because those were, those were my, those were house keys, P.O. box keys mailbox my house mailbox keys and so I started praying really hard to say you know God it's time to uh, time to show yourself and um, you know angels uh, spirit guides please uh, please please help me if it's God's will you know find help me find these keys help me see them and uh, you know I, I was even going up there uh, just playing with my dog at some point and um, just really praying hard just really just really focused on it and at some point what happened was I, was, I, I, I saw another dog his name was Lucky and say hi to them and then shortly after as I was walking along I well okay see if I can see if I can find it now I was walking along and I found my keys but the, now they're where are they now Okay, so walking along, right? You can see that it's it's not it's not at all ob obvious, but my eyes knew where to look, and I found my keys right there. And so I guess this in this short video, um, I just want to <laughs> I want to talk about whether prayer works. Um, I don't know what your beliefs are, but I believe that we are always being protected and guided by by good spirits um, that see a lot more, obviously, than than we can, and um, they do the will of the Creator, uh, the, the 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 Great Spirit, God, you might say, um, or the loving force in the universe. And we often forget to ask for the help of of, of these spirit guides. Um, even though they're with us all the time. And you might say, George, you're crazy. You know, there's no scientific proof for any of this. Well, there's some interesting proof that I'll p include in the notes of this video. Uh, I've studied a lot, I, well, probably more than most people on this stuff, and I've come to believe. Uh, and um, so, so I guess what I'm trying to say, this interesting story is that I didn't find the keys until after I had been praying, hard, even though I had been looking for half an hour, and then I started praying hard, and then I found the keys. And also, I didn't find the keys until after I saw uh, the dog called Lucky, because it was a neighborhood dog. And it's like, okay, Lucky. And then literally, half a minute later, I found the keys. And I've always found it interesting, I think in my life, um, uh, I've never experienced anything supernatural. You might say that this was supernatural, but I've never ex really experienced anything paranormal or supernatural. And yet I believe. And I feel like that's maybe like my life path is to believe without personally having experienced anything supernatural. I've done the research, so I believe that there's, there's enough scientific evidence for it. But um, uh, it, it's interesting that it wasn't after I found the dog lucky until I found the keys. I was like, okay, this could have been seen as luck or this could have been seen as prayer. And or this can be seen as diligence, just like walking the park until I found the keys. Um, c interpret it how you will, but uh, that's the thing about spirituality is that, um, and that's the thing about faith, is that um, for most of us, we are not lucky enough to experience anything paranormal or supernatural, and maybe yet our heart and our spirit is calling us to believe. And I, I just want to say, you know, even if you don't believe in anything, even if you're secular, the benefit of prayer is that it focuses your mind on the task. It focuses you on what is higher than, because I, I was praying, you know, if it's God's will, 
let me find the keys. Let me see where they are in this big, huge park, if it's God's will. And if I didn't find the keys, uh, thanks to my faith, I would say, you know what? I tried, I, I, I prayed, and I looked. So it's that old saying, you know, uh, believe God, but tie your camel. It's like God wants you to, to do things, yet believing and still trusting that whatever happens is God's will, right? So if I didn't find the keys, I would have been fine. I would have been, I would have had peace in my heart knowing that, you know what? I guess it wasn't God's will. I, I really tried. I circled three times. If it wasn't God's will, I would have, I, you know, I didn't find the keys. Maybe I'll ask my wife later to help me find it. But I would have had peace. And I would have kept having a higher perspective that there's something good that will come out of this, even though it was, it was a temporary inconvenience. I probably would have, we would have probably had to change the locks since we're in the neighborhood here. And so I'm going to encourage you the takeaway from this is if you have faith, I hope that this will get you to pray more again and to pray that if it's God's will to have something happen, but to really pray, pray hard, pray focused that God I would really love for this to happen if it's your will. And if it doesn't happen, I know that it's not your will and that I need to be at peace with it. So I hope this is encouraging. I know it's kind of a long story, but uh, until the next video, I wish you I wish you faith in uh, the path that you feel called to walk.